JR Crash here with another video on a tiny whoop. About the time I think I'm done with tiny whoops, another one comes. And this one's a special one. Of course, the uh, Spintech Motors. The Bees Corp. Or Core, sorry. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, flash the firmware to Betaflight. So this video is after you've had it, you know, on clean flight, your radio set up, and you're ready to go to Betaflight. So anyway, I'll tell you a little bit about the quad. I've been flying it a while. I went ahead and chopped the cage off and laid a little Velcro so the battery has a place to lay down. And uh, these little rubber bands, I don't know, they're, I think, um, the craft area in Walmart. You get a giant bag of them. They're nice and light. And I tied another one around it so it's easier to grab instead of just grabbing the rubber band. And uh, has the Hubson connector. So I've been running about 300 milli uh, amp batteries on it. And... Uh, three four minutes, you know about like everything else Thought about trying and strapping like a 750 on it, but <clears throat> I haven't got that far or 650 I'll have to try that and see how it goes Anyway, let's get to it And I'm sorry about the camera deal here um, I will be coming out with a video on the full setup on beta flight and some PIDs I still I'm messing with them and I'll try and have a screenshot set up and figured out and all that good stuff. So anyway, you want to go up and uh, find the SP Racing F3 EVO. Make sure you have that. And then the firmware version, the newest version of that. And you have to jumper the boot. So when you get your board, look at it, and you'll see there's two little tabs, and it says boot. And you have to ground them as you apply power or plugging it into your computer, basically. <clears throat> Go ahead and set your full uh, chip reset. And this is down in the firmware flasher tab, if you don't know where I'm at on here. And then go ahead and do the download, and then hit firmware flash, and it'll load right up. And then after that, go ahead and reboot, and go to your welcome screen, and connect, and start setting everything up, just like you do in clean flight. And, yeah, there's a humongous difference in the way it flies, I guarantee you. You will uh, want to get some dual rates going. <laughs> Set some flight modes up. Anyway, I'm still flying it, kind of testing it out. So once I uh, get that going a little more. Well, we'll get another video on uh, the PIDs that I found and so on. And this little camera you can get off of Amazon, and it comes with a clear body that it snaps into, and they're pretty reasonable. Um, cozy Pony or Crazy Pony, something like that. <laughs> I'll try and put it in the description. Kara Crash out.